Josh Borden got added to the active roster. You guys haven't practiced practice yet, but you saw him a little bit last week. Uh, you've been around him now for a little while. What are your thoughts about him as a guy and then what, what he can do for your offense? Yeah, he's a tremendous guy. I mean, you can tell he, he loves uh, playing football. He loves being here. Loves being a part of this locker room, um, and I mean the, the talent you can just see. I mean the, how fast he is, how big he is, the way he's able to get in and out of cuts. Um, I've been able to throw to him a little bit here now, kind of off to the side a little bit, and I think uh, we'll try to do whatever we can to kind of bring him up to speed as quickly as possible and try to utilize his skill set. One thing that you uh, tend to do is try to get guys involved off the field, become friends with them. Your relationship with Travis. Just what have you learned about Josh since you've had a relationship with him, maybe off the field that you didn't know before? Yeah, I mean uh, I think. Uh, I, he has those Texas ties, so I mean, we've talked about, uh, no offense to Dieter, but because he's a Yankees fan, but the Astros, uh, we talked about kind of stuff like that, him going to Baylor and, and things like that, um, and just seeing that, how humble of a guy he is. I mean, he, tr he truly uh, is someone that, that wants to be here, wants to be a part of this locker room, and I'm sure we'll keep building that relationship as the season goes on. Patrick, three of your four interceptions have kind of come under pretty similar circumstances. Third down, about to get sacked. How does the calculus of those types of situations affect how big we're risking Yeah, it's something that I definitely have to cut down on, um, especially kind of those interceptions that are around the middle of the field. Um, I've, I've, I've been have taken chances of throwing it deep sometimes and kind of getting those interceptions on third and long and stuff like that, and that kind of in turn kind of is a punt. Um, but whenever you're throwing interceptions around the middle of the field, uh, that usually puts the defense in bad situations. So that's something I definitely need to, to work on as the season goes on. I know those are three examples, but otherwise, do you feel like over the, the years you, you've learned to be maybe more, more careful, for lack of a better word? Yeah, yeah. for sure. And uh, I mean, it's something that I have to continue to work on as my career goes on. I have that aggressive nature. I want to try to make everything happen, make a get a first down every single time. Um, but at the end of the day, sometimes you have to punt, and I think uh, that's something that I'll continue to work on. Uh, we'll have to play the field position battle sometimes and uh, let the defense get some stops, and then we'll be able to score the next drive. Talk about the uh, production you're getting from Jody Forsen. He went from you know making the team this year to, to now giving you some quality snaps. What are you saying from him? Yeah, I mean, well, we saw it uh, the last few years, uh, kind of when he was on the, on the practice squad and he was going against our defense. He was able to make those tough, contested catches. Um, and, and get vertical and play hard. Um, and so as we kind of got him into the right role in this offense, I think you're seeing that. I mean, the one that I, that I kind of underhand shoveled to him, uh, it, was, it was way out in front of him. He was able to catch it, secure it, use his body, and get in the end zone. And so as, as kind of everybody on this team, we're going to find the best place to put you in our offense and try to utilize your skill set to be the best you can be for the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick, what do you think it is about him that he's a, maybe more valuable as a tight end than, than as a wide end? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's really big. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, he's uh, obviously super athletic. Uh, he's big. He's fast. And I think as these years have kind of gone on and he's been on the practice squad, he's learned how to really block. And I think that was something that, that, is, that is huge when you play a tight end position is uh, obviously you can, you can be the mismatch in the, the passing game, but being able to come in and block and do those different type of things as well makes it a mismatch uh, altogether as a person on offense. Patrick, you're about a quarter of the way through. How are you feel like you're sinking in with your and working well with your offensive line? Yeah, I think we're getting better and better each and every week. Um, uh, we'll continue to get better and better as the season goes on. Um, but I think that they're they're taking steps in the right direction. They're not making the same mistake. Um, and then I'm I'm finding those right pockets to kind of step up into. Uh, I think they had a great week this last week, um, but we're playing a really good defense this next this this week coming up. So uh, we got to make sure that we continue to get better and better because it'll be a great challenge for us. Patrick, it seems like uh, teams are and typically are playing you a little bit deeper in coverages this year, making you guys play more methodical. How do you feel like you're responding to that, and how important is Clyde in, in that in that sense? Yeah, I think we learned a little bit about it at the end of last year. We were able to have the, being able to have to throw the ball short, drive the length of the field, trust these guys are going to like Tyree, you're going to make plays and get down the field once they catch the ball. And I think uh, having the offensive line come in, how well they can run block, um, and Clyde running the football, I think that's just going to continue to be another step in the right direction for us to be the best offense that we can possibly be. That one play where Tyree got to the one kind of seemed like, you know, type of a cheat, cheat code type of thing. Is that how unique is, is that ability to have a receiver that can do something like that? Yeah, I mean, it was, it's, it's really unique uh, to be able to throw a stop route and then the guy catch the ball and make like five or six people miss and get to the sideline and almost get to the end zone. I actually applauded him for not reaching the ball out at the end zone because, I mean, that easily – you see guys reach out and get knocked out the back of the end zone. So uh, um, just applauding him, the smart that he has, uh, and not do that and not turn the ball over, trust that we're going to score uh, when we're down there that close to the end zone. Um, but I, I told him like three years ago he'd have been in. So, I mean, I think he's losing a little bit of speed. What's it like for you to exercise that patience and not try to – 
take shots all the time. Is that kind of part of your maturity to understand that you just got to take what they give you? Is yeah, that for easy sure. for you to do or not? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely me uh, different than what I, I would have done in, in the past. I've kind of learned that you have to you have to do that. You have to take the underneath stuff, um, and you have to continue to drive the ball down the field. Um, but I never want to lose that edge of, of, of attacking. Um, and so hopefully as we continue to, to take these and go to the leak of the field and show that we can do that, show that we can run the football, it'll open up the deep passing game, and we'll be able to still do that as well. You've, uh, you've watched plenty of quarterbacks. I know you, you take sort of bits and pieces from certain guys. Just what's it been like to watch Josh maybe this year or even during the offseason, and what's it been like to compete against him similar to Lamar and obviously Justin Herbert? Yeah, I think what you see with Josh is as he gets better and better every single year, he's not satisfied with where he's at. Uh, I know I, I've watching games I've heard he works with his throwing motion, he works with his feet, he does different type of stuff to try to get another edge. And I think that's what all the best quarterbacks do. Um, it's something that I, I know I do is I go look back every offseason and I want to find one thing that I can get better at. Um, and try to continue to get better and better. And I think you've seen that with Josh. They put a lot on him uh, to make a lot of checks at the line of scrimmage, uh, uh, to, to make all the right decisions, throw the ball, run the ball, do all that different type of stuff. And I think that's kind of what's, what's put them at this level where they're a dominant team. Um, and so uh, he's, definitely, uh, he's definitely gotten better and better each and every year. And I'm sure we'll, we'll have a lot of battles as our, uh, both of our careers go on. Has there been any more talks about the throwoff? I mean, the last year you guys were talking about having the throwoff. Any more talks about that? There, there hasn't been uh, of late. Um, it's, uh, I think we're both getting a little older, so I don't know. We might lose a couple of our yards. But, uh, no, he, he's, uh, he's got a very strong arm for sure. People talk a lot about their offense. They put some points in there. They get a couple of shutouts. Um, what, what's the toughest part about their defense? Do they look any different than what you saw twice last year? Yeah, I mean, they're – they, they continue to get better. I mean, they had a lot of young guys on that defense, and they have veteran guys. So they're going to keep adding. They're going to continue to get better and better at their scheme, uh, disguising their scheme. And uh, they execute. I think uh, Coach McDermott and Coach uh, Frazier both do a great job of knowing kind of what you're good at and trying to take that away. Um, and, and they always have a wrinkle each and every week. Um, and so, I mean, it's, it's definitely a good defense, uh, really, really good defense. And uh, we're going to have a great challenge for us. And, and we have to make sure that we execute every single play because they look for those chances and they, they try to capitalize on them. Okay, thanks, Patrick. Thanks, Patrick.